when you train at public schools to condition the kids that the gun owners are going to come kill everybody because they're mad about the Second Amendment being violated. And they're going to use bioweapons that the school biology teachers are terrorists. They had some glitter on a poster out in California a few months ago. And some of it blew, and they said, you're trying to make people think there's a bio attack. They've got people where there's a backpack on the ground. I mean, I've been at the airport before and walked off with my bags to get a coffee, and people are like, hey, your bags. I'm like, Starbucks is 10 feet. I, I know, my, my crew's sitting right by the bag, lady. It's always a woman. Nothing against women, but they're the ones that are more congenial in tribal situations to try to comply and be nice people. The problem is you got evil running the country. And repeatedly, I have had one time at Austin Bergstrom, I got up to go get some barbecue. I mean, uh, some, some utensils for my barbecue. And I was waiting to fly out. And, and a woman again went, sir, sir, don't leave your bag. And it was literally 15 feet to the paper towels and utensils. This woman is shaking in fear that, that there's terrorists everywhere when the government runs the terrorists publicly on record. And that's all out in the open now. So they're segueing from forget Al-Qaeda, why it's the gun owners. I mean, this is incredible. And we've got to make this break into the media and have a serious talk about this. I mean, remember what came out last year? We first broke it. Leaked to us, actually, out of a PSYOPs group. I mean, I'll just say it because they're all being tracked. They know it. They're not. They don't care. Uh, uh, out of uh, Fort Hood. Where they said the evangelical Christians are criminals. You are not to give money or go to one of their churches or be part of the Tea Party. Or you will be called before the man and court-martialed. And then Fox News picked it up. And they went, okay, the Secretary of the Army said, we're going to stop that now. Man, I mean, imagine. The, 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 this is like a Soviet takeover, folks. This is the real deal ahead of them going operational. And then all hell's going to break loose forever, basically. The end of our way of life. The end of prosperity. Dead citizens. Dead police. Dead military. Hell on earth. I mean, this is a nightmare situation where the globalists play us off against each other. So at the end of this segment, the next segment, and the next one, I want to talk to police and military. We only got time for a few, but I want you to call in right now. Give me your take on this. 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. I've already talked too long. I promise I'll go right to you when you come in. Go ahead. We've opened the phones up. 800-259-9231. <clears throat> Briefly, I've never been more alive than I am now to be taking action into the face of this thing. And this is what we're all born to do. Every generation goes through different struggles. We're going through a very serious one. One of the greatest humanities ever seen. And, and, and history's happening right now. So nobody, nobody should say that they're bored. Please support us. Please get the fine products at InfoWarsLife.com, the survival shield, radiation protection, overall thyroid and other body health. It's just done wonders for so many people. The super male vitality that helps block all the estrogen mimickers that are being put in everything. The fluoride shield that I think is really the best value. Nation iodine and five other ingredients. Known to detox. Infowarslife.com. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. Infowarsstore.com has the survival seeds. Uh, non GMO at the lowest prices, the widest selection, the books, the films, the, the Molon Labe t-shirts came in today. They're going up on the shopping cart today. It's the best Molon Labe come and take it uh, design out there. Bar none, incredible job uh, that one of our um, old graphics guy got to do it, uh, that Cade did. It's just, it's just, it's just unbel unbelievable. So uh, that's going to be going up on the shopping cart later today, 800, 800, um, you can go 888-253-3139, 888-253-3139 to call online um, or infowarsstore.com, obviously. But again, I get in a hurry plugging in and start babbling in 18 other directions. I, I'm so freaked out about how obvious all this is and the fact that we've got to get the public to realize this is happening. that I can hardly even talk at some points. Let's go to Steve, who's in Pennsylvania, and I guess is active duty, active duty military. Steve, what is your take on... All this, do you think I'm wrong, or what do you think? Uh, let's uh, pot Steve up there uh, on the network for me real quick. Uh, go ahead, Steve, you're on the air. You there? Yes, yes, go ahead. Yeah, you're, you're dead on. Uh, I was in the military for six years. I just got out the other year. Um, and I woke up beginning of last year, and it seems like everything you've been saying for the past year or so has been right on. No doubt about it. 
And I can't even believe a real takeover is being attempted right now. Even I can't believe it's really happening, even though we saw all the signs. And even though it's happened in other countries over and over again. But it's so crazy. Imagine the majority of drills are for veterans and gun owners killing children to demonize veterans, gun owners, and conservatives. I mean, this is outrageous. Where is the Republican Party hauling the attorney general up for impeachment right now? Well, you can't trust either party. I know. They're, 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 the problem is they're both, you know, joined together at the hip. That's the problem. Well, let me ask you this. When you were in, uh, before you got out a year ago, were you ever part of these drills? Because I've been to them that are public. Were they trained to fight guys that literally have beards and wear John Deere hats? Basically, they trained to fight Hank Williams Jr. Uh, were you ever part of that? Or did you ever hear about any of those drills? I was never a part of those drills, but we did have a, a company come in from, um, they were doing a video for uh, West Point, and they actually asked some of us to go and work with this film crew and stuff, because we have, we have a large uh, National Guard base about 10 minutes from my house, where my unit used to be at, um, and we had this little training town that was out there in the middle of the woods. And we'd go out there and they'd make videos of us kicking down doors and all sorts of other stuff for training videos. But I was never part of an actual drill. But exactly. And, 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 and West Point is now publicly training, but the main enemy is the Tea Party. That's in Forbes, Associated Press, you name it. But the AP reports it like it's a good thing. Thank God the Pentagon's going to smash people that don't want to turn their guns in and, and, and have the state run their kids. Go ahead. Well... When I was in, you know, I always told all my guys that were in my platoon or in my company or anybody that was lower enlisted, you know, remember your oath. And I, even now, since I'm out in the IRR right now, even though I'm out, I still talk to, like, military officers. I still talk to my old soldiers I, you know, I used to serve with. And I still tell them, remember your oath. I mean, we all swore an oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So we all have to live by that oath. I live by mine every day. Last year, since the Sandy Oak shooting, and I, I looked into all that and found out it was mostly a hoax that was perpetrated by our government. I've been looking into, you know, and researching everything that goes on now. I've been calling my congressman every week, every two weeks, to make sure they get the point across, hey, you ain't getting our guns. Exactly. Gun. Everybody's just got to continue to speak to friends and family. We're the majority. We're the Americana culture. The culture of America isn't perfect, but it's a billion times better than the globalist synthetic slave culture. God bless you. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, Cy Hirsch, the Pulitzer Prize winning two-time investigative journalist, he came out last year and concurred with us and said the bin Laden raid was 100% fake. I talked to an active duty Navy SEAL that's friends of the family, I'll leave it at that, weeks after it happened. I've had family of people that died in the helicopter that was blown up on saying, they know it was set up to kill their family and they were killing the, the, the Navy SEALs were sent in on a bin Laden body double. We even know the guy's name. And now today they've come out and it turns out the Pentagon claimed they had photos of it and video and all this stuff. And then quote, when they were ordered to declassify it, it was quote, all destroyed. It was fake. They court martialed hundreds of people on the ship, the aircraft carrier. Now it turns out there was no body dumped overboard. That's come out in mainstream news. It's all lies, folks. He died of kidney failure a long time ago. He was a high-level globalist asset above CIA. It's all fake. And yes, we don't know exactly what happened with Sandy Hook, but we got a good idea. They've bulldozed it. They've covered it up. Real kids were killed there, but they did have confirmed actors putting out the official story, and Bloomberg got caught in internal memos that have been leaked preparing the day before for the big push and saying, prepare now for the news blitz. That's, that, that, look it up, folks. I mean, it is incredible. And they just count on everybody's ignorance to not understand this is real. I mean, this is so horrible. I wish this wasn't true. You know, it's like when I got the word my uncle was basically brain dead and was going to be turned off and die. And I was going to get out there, but he died really quick after they took him off. They thought he'd fight a few days. It's like I've now accepted he's dead and he's gone. And we have to accept America is pretty much dead. But it's like a spirit. It's not a person. It could be resurrected in our hearts and minds if we want. Not the 
perfect America the media has pushed, but, but the real America that at least has basic freedom compared to other nations. We're in deep trouble, folks. This is real. And I'm having to come to grips with, man, it's really as bad as we thought and worse. With a bunch of scum that want, have got a score to settle with people that love freedom. Let's go to Glenn in Kentucky, who's police, then Raymond, who's military, and uh, Rabbit, who's military. Go ahead, uh, Gene. Uh, what's, what's your take on all this? Uh, yes, sir. Um, my, my cousin is just recently retired from Kentucky State Police, 20-plus years, PR officer. Uh, and his direct response uh, to your um, story on the illegal checkpoints is highly decorated. You can check him out if you wanted to. I can give you your name off air and make sure that it's who it is. But he says, well, I must chime in here and explain the constitutionality of the RAID program. Thanks, th folks think there is a God-given right to drive a car on the roads without being bothered by the police. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Bottom line, driving is a privilege and not a right under state law. Now, can a police officer stop someone in a traffic stop for no reason? No. Checkpoints have been ruled constitutionally legal as long as the encounter is quick and to the point. Can I see your license and registration of no apparent violations? Send them on their way. Being a commonwealth... But then they release illegals safety. when they find them. No, I've seen those quotes in the news. Now they're looking for people with food in the car or who look like they might have been eating. And then they pull you over and go, have you been eating? Okay, here's a ticket. It's pure conditioning. I appreciate your call because we're going to police and military as quick as we can. Uh, let's talk to Raymond in Illinois, listening on WCKG in Chicago. Uh, you're military. Are you current or did you just get out? And what's your take on this? Uh, no, I uh, no, sir. I've been out for some time now. I have a son that's in. And my comment was they are gearing up. The uh, Masons, I live in a small town, the Masons have been having uh, meetings quite frequently. Wisconsin, all the major roadways are putting gates on the, on the overpasses, barricades. Well, I know this, they are getting all the kind of the insiders and in all the cities ready for collapse and telling wealthy families, hey, be part of the system, we can protect you, acting like they don't know why the collapse is coming. The globalists engineered all this. That's the point. See, that's why they oh, staged yeah. the crisis, is because they can pose as the savior. Oh, I, I, I know that. I, you woke me up quite a few years ago, and I've woken up a few members of my family, but there's others that don't want to listen. That you know, Oh, yeah, I don't know. That that you'll have, you'll have 300 yard wide mediums all over the U.S., and they're putting cables down the middle of them. It's got to be billions of dollars nationwide, so you can't, I mean, it, it's for control. And, and they admit it's for that. I mean, this is just hellish what they're doing. God bless you, sir. I appreciate your call. Rabbit in the Midwest, are you former or current military? Uh, former. So what's your take on all the TV shows, everything demonizing gun owners? Well, I'm sure you can talk to David Icke about this a little bit more. Uh, but surprisingly or not, I think it's a good thing in terms that, that it will cause the spiritual evolution which America needs to reboot itself morally and uh, on an individual level. I hear you. I appreciate the call, Rabbit. But, I mean, I, I want police and military to call in. They call in all the time, and I don't ask them to. They've been part of these gun confiscation drills. But now they're on record in the news. They're training all over the country to fight gun owners and saying we're terrorists. We're going to blow stuff up and kill kids. Demonizing us ahead of a political purge, folks. Thank you for I mean, this is a historical, GCN. absolute red level emergency. Warrior calls coming up in the next five minutes, then David Icke's going to join us. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 
Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888 253 3139. 